Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sylvia. Today I have a vinyasa yoga routine for you. Um, we'll try to make it as much of a flow as possible. So we'll try to transition from one position to the other in as smooth as, as smoothly as possible. Um, if you have ujjayi breath in your practice, so if you used to use it in the practice, feel free to do so. Otherwise, um, you're welcome to breathe freely. So let's get started by lying on our mat. So let's take a supine position. And here, bring your knees to your chest. So take a moment here to check in. You can rock gently from side to side and gently press your spine in onto the mat. So feel free to set the intention for this practice and really take this moment for yourself. Focus on your body, on your breath. So now stop in the center and extend your left leg forward and keep pulling this right knee into your chest. So feel your spine pressing on the mat. Elongate your cervical spine, stay here, just a couple of breaths. And one more breath in and exhale, let something go. So now bring your left hand onto your knee, inhale here and exhale, twist your left to the left and stay here a few breaths. So support your spine, support your right knee and come back to center. We'll do it a couple more times, so twist to your left and feel the left leg pressing onto the mat. So feel the support from your bottom leg. And one more time, let's go into this nice twist, nice release for the lower back. And come back to center, switch legs. So extend your right one. Inhale here and exhale, bring the left knee into your chest or toward your shoulder. Make sure you press your lower back onto the floor. So feel your abdominals are engaging now. And release. And one more time, press the spine into the floor. And come back. Right hand on your left knee. Inhale here and exhale. Twist to your right. If you want, you can look to your left. So continue that rotation with the cervical spine and come back to center and we'll do it two more times like this so go into that nice twist support with your abdominals so feel that your abs are engaged and come back to center and last one here twist stay here and then come back to center so now flex your feet raise your right leg and start switching your legs. So one knee bends to your chest and the other knee extends. So free, think about engaging your abdominals, think about supporting your lower back. So you want to press that lower back onto the mat. And you can stay here so you can keep the head on the floor or you can lift your chest and gaze towards your knees towards your feet and breathe freely so feel that you're pressing your heels away from your body from your chest and let's do this four more times four three two one and again press both knees into your chest now let's go into happy baby so make sure the soles of your feet are parallel as much as parallel to the ceiling as possible and gently pull your knees down so make sure your sacrum is pressing onto the mat so you're not lifting but you're pressing your sacrum down so you could stay in the middle or you can rock from side to side here and feel that deep opening in your hips and then 
slowly come back to center, release and place your feet on the mat. So press your legs together and let's do Supta Baddha Konasana. So drop gently your knees outside and feel that sacrum, always gently pressing on the mat. You can place your hands outside with your palms up or down if you want or you can place one end on the belly and the other on your heart. So just make yourself comfortable, just a few breaths here. You can close your eyes and just feel your breath, feel your hips opening and stay here. And then open your eyes and come back to center and here bring your knees into your chest and I'll start rocking back and forth to massage your spine and see if you can you can stop in Navasana so we'll stop in a few moments so let's do two more of these rolling back and forth and on the next one let's stay, let's stay up so let's stay in Navasana so you extend your arms forward you can stay here or you can extend your legs if you want you can keep your legs bent and feel that you're opening your chest you're really opening in your collarbones and you're lifting up so you're not really pressing down you're not curving your lumbar spine you're just back of your sit bones and stay here just a couple breaths more and then release and meet me in tabletop so let's switch position so take a moment here to fix the position really press gently into your hands support your spine with your abdominals and here we do some cat and cow inhale extend your spine and exhale round your spine into cat inhale pressing gently with your hands and knees and exhale round your back inhale really articulate your spine and exhale release and again inhale and exhale round your spine and relax your head and one more inhale and exhale round your back and gently come back to a neutral position so feel that your spine is supported and press your shoulders down so now extend your right leg behind uh, at um, hip level and let's do some flex end point with your right foot so take your time to engage your calf and you can rotate your ankle a few times in one direction and then reverse it and then stay here inhale and exhale knee to the nose and curve your spine <sighs> exhale here and extend flex your foot and knee to nose and extend back and round your spine and extend back we do two more exhale curve your spine and press your heel back and last one curve your spine extend back and stay here so now press your toes on the floor and gently rock back and forward so you're really stretching a little bit your right calf and you're uh, warming up your your wrists so you're taking a few um, a little of your weight back and forward and now stay here so lift your left leg into high plank and stay here so take a moment to fix the position engage your glutes your abs feel the shoulders down and now let's press up into upward facing dog so 
fix your position here as well so make sure that your your knees are extended or if you want you can keep them bent and start pedaling your feet just to release any tension in the lower back to stretch your hamstrings a little bit and gently press with your hands on the floor on the mat so extend both knees inhale bring your right leg up as much as you can and then twist to your left so feel that right hip opening and stay here just a moment and then bring it back to center inhale here and exhale knee to your chest <sighs> exhale here and come back into this three-legged dog and come back to the chest and knee to the chest and up and on the last one make this big step forward so step between your hands and now place your left knee down untuck your toes and gently press into your legs to support your spine so extend your left arm to the sky and you can either stay here or you can extend both arms to the sky interlace your finger and release your index fingers so let's go into Anjaniasana and you can extend your your back here so stay here a few breaths support your cervical spine stay here and then gently release so press your left hand firmly on the floor tuck your toes and lift your left leg press down with your left side and extend the right hand right arm to the sky you can keep the arm here or you can go into that nice go to towards your head and keep it here a few breaths to make sure you feel the energy in your legs and your abdominals and now place both hands on the floor and let's go back to downward facing dog and let's stay here a few breaths so make sure your feet are hip distance apart and now bring both knees down bend them and then extend and bend and extend and a couple more times bend and extend and one more bend and extend so stay here and now lift your left leg all the way up as much as you can and then twist it twist to the right side so feel the left hip opening and then extend your leg up inhale here and exhale bring the knee into your chest and then up and two and come back three-legged dog and big step forward place your foot down place the right knee down and untuck your toes so start lifting up send the right arm up you can stay here or you can interlace the fingers release the index fingers and start elongating the spine to really feel that you're stretching through the right hip flexor stay here and then gently release so your right hand is on the mat tuck your toes and lift your knee and extend the left arm to the sky so you can either stay here or you can take the arm overhead so make sure there's a line between your fingertips and your toes and stay here gaze at your fingertips if you can and then release and come back to downward dog and stay here just a couple of breaths and start pedaling start walking your feet to the front of the mat so place your feet between your hands you can bend your knees lightly so 
let's do this forward fold Uttanasana so now inhale bring your hands to your shins and straight spine look forward exhale move back into forward fold and a couple more times like this inhale extend your spine and exhale forward fold and one more time inhale extend the spine and exhale release and now with the next inhale let's go all the way up inhale up extend your spine to the sky look at your thumbs and release so bring your hands into prayer and take a moment here to check in to just feel your breath feel that you're really grounding those feet onto the floor really elongating your spine you feel you're growing from the crown of your head to the sky and now release your hands down let's move into Utkatasana and so brush your fingertips on the mat and sit down so you can either uh, keep your arms parallel or you can press your hands together so make sure that you see your toes so you're really sitting butt back in this chair position and let's take it here stay here a few moments and breathe and then we'll release and we'll take a vinyasa here inhale arms up and exhale forward fold release your head inhale Ardha Uttanasana and exhale step or jump back and let's take a moment here in plank so bring your knees down and then chest and chin come down and then transition from here to Urpa Mukhasmanasana upward dog and then let's move into downward facing dog and here check in the position your abs engaging and then walk or float your feet forward inhale halfway up look up and exhale forward forward inhale all the way up look if you hurt your thumbs and then come down so from Utkatasana we're going to transition into Garudasana so let's take Uttanasana again so now bring your arms at shoulder level your right arm goes on top of the other so you can wrap your arms if you can if you cannot wrap them you can simply grab your shoulders so feel free to find a position that's more comfortable for you here push push your hips up for back and press onto your right leg so your your left leg is lifting up and you're wrapping it around the right one so sink deeper into the posture so feel that your shoulders are pressing down and stay here and then release your legs release your arms and we'll do another vinyasa inhale here and exhale bend forward inhale halfway and exhale step or jump back knees chest chin and transition into upward dog and downward dog and step or jump forward inhale halfway up and exhale release and float all the way up to the sky and come down and let's take Uttanasana again so bring your arms at shoulder level so this time the left goes on top make sure you're pressing your shoulders down you're really wrapping those arms now your weight goes onto your left leg so wrap the right around the leg and stay here so sink deeper into the posture so you're like you're sitting more back and down 
and gently release the right leg release your arms inhale up and exhale down inhale halfway up and exhale jump or walk back knees chest chin and move forward into upward dog and move back into downward dog and this time we'll take single pigeon pose so inhale your right leg up and push it forward so make sure you have a, a nice angle spine 90 90 90 degree if possible so your left hip comes forward so try to square your hips stay here a moment and then if you want you can walk your hands forward bring your shoulders down release your neck area your cervical spine and stay here a few breaths so really feel that right glute stretching and you feel energy in both your legs shoulders down now press both knees both hands and tuck your toes back and let's go into downward dog so stay here press onto your feet so really make those here reach for the floor left knee goes up inhale here and exhale bend your knee and reach for the pigeon pose so you can move your foot forward a little bit if you want and try to square those hips forward to so make sure your shoulders are aligned and now if you want you can bend forward a little bit more so you can bring your elbows on the mat and feel the shoulders pressing down so feel that your right hip is constantly moving forward so you're really stretching the, the left glute and stay here you're free to go further so you're free to press both arms on the floor and you're free to press to, to bring the forehead to the floor so it's up to you which level what kind of stretching you want to feel today now come up press both hands on the floor tuck your toes and let's go back to downward dog so now here walk your hands toward your feet so make sure your feet are hip distance apart your knees are slightly bent and grab your elbows so take a moment here to rock from side to side to really release the cervical spine the shoulders area and then back to center release your arms and roll up all the way up to the sky very nice and from here let's take a big step with the right leg and let's prepare for prasarita padottanasana so there is a slight internal rotation in your hips in your femurs inhale open your arms to the side and exhale let's go into prasarita padottanasana d so interlace bring it grab your to big toes inhale halfway up and exhale forward fold so you want to take the crown of your head to the floor if you are not actually reaching the floor think about it as a direction you want to move forward you want to move to so feel your spine your shoulders are down and you you are slightly taking your weight to your toes say so here a couple of breaths more and on the next inhale halfway up inhale exhale say here inhale bring your hands to your hips come all the way up and one more time extend your arms to the sides this time clasp your hands behind your back really press the hands away from you inhale heart to the sky and exhale forward, fold forward once more and here you want to make sure that you're reaching with the crown of your head to the floor and you're really reaching forward with your hands so again here gently press the toes onto the mat and stay here if you feel that your hamstring hamstrings are tight you can always bend your little uh, your knees a little 
and now inhale come all the way up and come back here and let's move into warrior two so open your toes to the right and bend your right knee so feel that you're pressing down your shoulders and then you're gazing to your right fingertips and let's stay here a few breaths so feel that you're sinking deeper into the posture with each breath and now extend the right pivot the right foot and pivot the left and let's go to the le left side so really bring your hips down and expand your chest really feel that elongation in your chest and in your arms stay here and then come back to center and come back to the front of your mat and stay here we'll take a vinyasa to transition to a series of seated positions inhale up and exhale forward forward inhale halfway up and exhale float or step back knees chest chin upward dog and downward dog and here cross your ankles and see take a seat on the floor and extend your legs forward so we'll find dandasana so make sure your legs are engaged and your feet are flexed so really extend your chest and gently press into your hands and release the chin to your chest so we'll keep this position five breaths Really feel the crown of your head reaching the sky. Feel the support in your spine. Now bring your right foot to your left thigh. So really extend forward. Make sure that you're squaring your shoulders. Inhale your arms up and exhale, bend forward. So you can grab your calf, you can grab your heel. You can grab your foot, whichever position is comfortable, and gently release towards your left knee. And stay here. Janushirsasana A. Inhale, look up. And exhale, release. And let's switch side. So extend your right leg. Bring your left knee in. And really rotate toward that right leg. Inhale your arms up and exhale, bend forward and clasp your knee, calf, whichever point is comfortable for you. And make sure that the right knee is pressing onto the mat. And then inhale, extend your spine and exhale, release. And we'll take a vinyasa from here. So cross your ankles, move your hands in front of your ankles, press up and float back. Knees, chest, chin on the mat and release down. Upward dog, downward dog. And we'll step to the front of the mat once more. This time let's do Bata Konasana. So soles of the feet are together, but you open them with your fingertips, like they, you open a book. So stay here and try to straighten your spine to the ceiling. So make sure your, your knees are pressing into the floor. Extend your spine. You can stay here or you can bend forward. And so you reach with your head to the mat, to the floor. And let's stay here for five breaths. So you can use your elbows gently to press your knees down and feel that your shoulders are down, you're engaging your lats. And then slowly come back up 
and let's do upavishta konasana so let's move into a 90 degrees with your with your legs it doesn't it's not necessary to bring them so far apart so you can either grab your knees or you can grab the outside of your feet so stay here take a moment to really stretch your spine to elongate the lumbar spine you can stay here or you can fold forward and bring your chin to the floor and you can stay here a few breaths again here you can bend your knees if you feel too much pressure on your hamstrings so listen to your body make sure you find a more comfortable steady and comfortable position and then inhale halfway up extend your spine and exhale release so we'll take one last vinyasa before finishing our sequence press into the mat and step back knees chest chin and move into urta mukha svanasana and then adho mukha svanasana and stay here and then slowly bring your knees down and we'll release into shavasana so we'll find a moment to release any tension and you can place your hands on the floor palms up really take this moment to feel the effect of your practice on your body really make sure that you come back to your your breath you come back to your body close your eyes and let's stay here So you can stay longer in Shavasana if you want, otherwise gently open your eyes and stretch your arms over your head, so feel this, take this nice stretch all through your body, so feel the energy going through your body from the fingertips to your toes and then bring one knee and the other to your chest, so stay here and rock from side to side just a bit more and then rock to one side and come back to a seated position and let's find this comfortable seated position let's find a neutral spine at the crown of your head take the spine to the sky thank you so much for being here with me it was lovely to work out with you let me know what you think about this video in the comment and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this thank you so much and i hope to see you soon